Kylie Skin's Walnut Face Scrub. Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aaliyah Bella Rose, beauty entrepreneur and content strategist. On this channel, I talk about all things beauty, wellness, and entrepreneurship. In this video, we're talking about why Kylie Skin's Walnut Face Scrub was so controversial and the best way to exfoliate your skin. So let's get into it. Do you remember when Kylie Jenner released her Walnut Face Scrub and the internet literally lost its mind? It was 2019, a much different time. The biggest reason the scrub was so controversial was because it used walnuts as its exfoliating ingredient. Even though the ingredient was a fine walnut powder, walnut shells aren't able to smooth down or round out in shape, so you're left with tiny particles with potentially jagged edges. These uneven pieces can potentially cause micro tears in the skin, which can lead to inflammation, irritation, and infection. Most dermatologists even said that walnut shells would never be an option they would use as a physical exfoliator for skincare products, and they would opt for a chemical exfoliator instead. They also mentioned that walnut shells offered no real benefit for the skin. Another concern was that 1% of the population is actually allergic to nuts, including walnuts, and this could potentially cause allergic or adverse reactions in some people. Do you also remember the controversy over the St. Ives apricot face scrub? You know, the face scrub that was in most of our bathrooms if you're a millennial. A lot of people on the internet were having deja vu over Kylie's walnut face scrub because they feel like they've been saying for years that nutshell face scrubs were just not it and Kylie didn't read the room prior to launching. St. Ives came under scrutiny in 2016 when a lawsuit was filed against Unilever, alleging that the nutshells used in the apricot face scrub led to the inflammation of the skin in two women. Eventually, this case was dismissed due to lack of proof. At this point, you might be wondering, is exfoliation bad for my skin? Exfoliating your skin provides benefits that include removing dead skin, smoothing your complexion, and allowing your skincare products to absorb more effectively. However, the skin on your face is thinner and more sensitive than the rest of your body, and it can be more susceptible to irritation. The top layer of your skin acts as a defense barrier against irritants in the elements, so it's important to know how to take care of it properly. Using a physical scrub on your body isn't a bad thing because the skin on your body is so much thicker than the skin on your face. So I would recommend to avoid physical scrubs on your face and instead opt for a chemical exfoliant. Chemical exfoliants include alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and poly hydroxy acids. When you hear the word acid, you might wanna freak out, but there's no need to worry because these ingredients are safe to use on your skin. The most well-known beta hydroxy acid or BHA is salicylic acid. Polyhydroxy acids or PHAs include gluconolactone, galactose, and lactobionic acid. Alpha hydroxy acids or AHAs include glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, malic acid, citric acid, and mandelic acid. Chemical exfoliants usually come in a liquid form or a serum and they can be applied directly to your skin. An example product could be Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant meant to unclog congested pores and remove dead skin. Using a chemical exfoliant in a liquid serum is much more gentle to the skin compared to using a physical exfoliator like Kylie Skin's Walnut Face Scrub. They're especially good for mature, acne prone, and sensitive skin. With any type of exfoliation, there's always a potential for irritation, but when you use a liquid chemical exfoliant, you don't have to worry about it causing tiny micro tears or cuts in your skin. Exfoliating serums can provide a more thorough treatment than physical scrubs alone, and it encourages cell turnover in the deepest layers of the skin. Most serums are multifunctional and may even have other benefits like brightening dark spots and evening out skin tone. One problem with exfoliation is the potential to over exfoliate. This can happen if the products are used improperly, like scrubbing too hard on the skin or it's just used too often. Over exfoliation can cause a damaged skin barrier, which can lead to irritation, skin sensitivity, redness, and inflammation. So it's always important to read the directions of the product you choose to use. Kylie Jenner claimed that the walnut face scrub was gentle enough to use every day. And that's just bad skincare advice. And she also claimed that it was her secret to a fresh face. Now, I think it's safe to assume that Kylie Jenner most likely is not using her own skincare products on a daily basis. And if she is, we all know that she probably has access to the best dermatologists and skin specialists in the industry to help curate a specific routine for her skin. It's important to note that as people become more informed consumers and educated on skincare in general, they're expecting more transparency and overall just better from brands, especially big ones like Kylie Skin. If you do choose to use a physical exfoliator on your face, like Kylie Skin's Walnut Scrub, I suggest only using it one time a week, if that. And keeping in mind that if you start having skin sensitivity, redness, or irritation, it's best to stop and return to the basics. Just using a cleanser, moisturizer, and SPF until those symptoms subside. 
And if you're using a liquid exfoliator for your face, I suggest reading the directions of the product you're using to make sure you get the best results. And when it comes to body exfoliation, you can use a body scrub two to three times a week. And if the scrub is a blend of physical and chemical exfoliants, I suggest reading the directions on that specific product to make sure you get the best results. So, now that you know why Kylie Skin's Walnut Scrub was so controversial, and you know the best way to exfoliate your skin, what are your thoughts on this? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. If you found this valuable, give this video a like to help push it out to others who could benefit from this information too. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skin education and routines. See you in the next one. Bye!